Welcome to Mission Past, where we look at archaeology and history behind video games while simultaneously trying to complete a mission. Today, it's Company of Heroes, the mission to take the town of Carantan. It's one of the first levels, so let's try it on Expert. Brace yourself. The airborne landings were scattered all across their drop zones. Units were separated. This intro video is talking about the strategic importance of taking Carantan to link Utah and Omaha some, beaches after D-Day. Some were never found. But even so, they took the Germans completely by surprise and secured all roads to the beaches. Their next objective was the crossroad town of Carantan that linked Omaha and Utah beaches. This is a sort of follow-on video to last week's video, which was about D-Day um, and Call of Duty 2. So if you'd like to see that, click the link. Here's a bomber overlooking Carantan, a reference to the heavy bombing that preceded the main assault on the 11th and 12th of June. We'll come back to that later. To prevent the Axis from driving a wedge between the Allied beachheads, the town of Carantan must be captured. We will approach from the north and move into the center of town. The church is our first objective. Once we take the church, it'll serve as our field HQ. Now, we expect the 6th Fallschirmjager Regiment to fanatically defend the town's square. When we secure the square, Carantan will be under our control. Okay, and this game, I think, heavily influenced by Band of Brothers. So this is the squad-based drama. Getting to know the troops. So who do you think it was? Yeah, I don't know. Roughing, maybe? Oh, great. I love a man with conviction. All right, a bit of banter. Spread out. Keep your eyes open, people. We're entering enemy territory. This mission in particular borrows heavily, I think, from the TV series Band of Brothers. Definitely worth a watch if you haven't seen it. When they're, when Easy Company is assaulting Carantan. Covering. Can you guess what's going to happen to them? Yep. Take cover. He was a good man. The cafe! MG42, second floor! Okay, let's uh let's get cracking. Right, it throws us right in the deep end here under machine gun fire. Just gonna withdraw these guys and bring this uh, other unit round to the right to throw a satchel charge into the building to blow it up. But first I'm going to pause the game. Here's Carantan. It was defended mainly by the 6th Fallschirmjäger Regiment, the Parachute Regiment, commanded by Friedrich von der Heidt. Rommel had ordered him to defend Carantan to the last man, but on the 11th of June, he pulled most of his forces out, leaving a rear guard of about 105 men. That night, the Allies unleashed a heavy artillery bombardment of the town, and at dawn the following morning, the 12th of June, the battle to capture Carantan proper commenced. Two glider regiments advanced from the northeast, and Dog, Fox and Easy Companies of the 506th Parachute Infantry Regiment advanced along these roads at about 6 o'clock in the morning. Easy Company were pinned down here by a machine gun in the second story of this building. And that's roughly where we are now, I would say, at about 6 o'clock in the morning on the 12th of June. And if you have seen Band of Brothers, you'll know that the Easy Company men froze in ditches either side of the road and refused to move forward, so their leader, Lieutenant Dick Winters, ran from side to side of the road under heavy fire, shouting and swearing and demanding that they move forward, which worked, and they eventually destroyed the machine gun position with rifle grenades. We've used satchel charges. Apparently Dick Winters was usually a very calm and steady commander who barely would even raise his voice, so no wonder shouting and swearing at his men did the job and got them moving forward. We've seen enough tactical overviews, I'll skip that. We're going to use grenades to clear this building, and that's something that the uh, Airborne did. They were fighting house to house with small arms and grenades to clear buildings from, of enemy troops. As the attack advanced from the south, Fox Dog and Easy Companies mixed together uh, and fought house to house with small arms and grenades. Right, so the first objective, take the church. So uh, let's use the satchel charge again to clear this house. And uh, let's get these guys behind this wall into strong, uh, into good cover. And use this ability called fire up, which means they'll be less likely to be suppressed by enemy fire. Right, let's get these guys around to the left because there's a machine gun by the church. Um, in fact, let's pull these guys back and let's bring, we're gonna bring everything around to the left to, to flank the enemy position. Let's use grenades to take out this MG. Oh, let's keep these guys at the back and... Oh, where are these grenades? Come on, lads. 
Okay, there they go. And also, I think we should get them behind these walls here so they've got some decent cover. Uh, right, that's the end of that. Machine guns. Um, let's uh, keep firing at these guys. And, well, this guy's doing a great job on his own. Okay. Satchel charges into the church. I'm hoping it won't destroy the church and it will just uh, get rid of the enemy inside. Oh, I think we're taking heavy casualties here. I think this is our last uh, our last squad. Okay, let's bring them round to the left behind the church and let's take a minute. Um, blimey, we're down to six men. Okay. Uh, also, just want to take a second to point out this statue. Carantan in the game bears very little resemblance to the layout of the actual town. But this statue, here's a picture of the 101st standing in front of it, is pretty accurate. It was a memorial to World War I. I say was, it's still there. Still in the center of Carantan today. And that's where we are. We've got to clear it out um, with one unit left. I think if we lose these guys, we'll get some reinforcements. I think, I hope. So let's bring them up to the left. Uh, more grenades. Let's have a sip of tea. Ah, hang on a minute, they've destroyed the statue. Well, we know that didn't happen because it's still there. Anyway, let's call in reinforcements because we really need them. Okay, uh, let's get these guys inside this building. Oh, they, I think there's only two of them left. Oh dear, this is not going particularly well. Um, but uh, don't worry, reinforcements are inbound. Here they come. We've got one guy back here. I think we get uh, a couple of squads, do we? Yeah, here they are. I'm going to move these guys straight up. Straight up through the middle here. Up the guts and into them, as they say in Australia. Right, uh, I'm going to uh, use satchel charges to clear these buildings, which is probably what, what I should have done at the beginning. So, um, we're going to have one squad throw the satchel charges, throw some grenades in as well, and clear these buildings of uh, uh, enemy troops. Right, let's just hang back until this blows. There it is. Okay, so we've still got to clear out some enemies inside the perimeter in that house at the top there, so... Let's move this one guy up <laughs> on his own. That wasn't so clever. Uh, let's give him a bit of support here. Oh, they have got a they have got an MG in that second story window. So let's move these guys around to the back, around to the back of the church. And I wonder if we can actually flank them with these two fellas. Go on, boys, chuck a satchel charge in there. Take the building out. Let's move these guys to the back of the church where they're safe. And <laughs> will this be successful? Go on. Yes, it's in. God, that, that, these are ruddy hero. Give him a medal. Wow. Right, so we've just got to, uh, what else have we got to clear? Ooh, there's something else here. I'm not sure what else we've got to clear. Let's move our fellas up, see what we find. Ah, the gun. Okay, more pineapples, more grenades. Let's take this down. Come on, fellas. Oh, it <laughs> just took one of our guys out of point blank range. Blimey. Come on, fellas. Come on, take him out. Take him out. Um, I think I might need some support here. Right, let's leave this one guy back in the uh, church for a second. Ah, oh, we've got him. We've got him. We've completed the objective. We've taken the church, finally. Let's just get these guys back from the enemy. Retreat a bit. Garrison the church. Okay, we'll put them inside. Let's leave this squad out the front to repel any attacks. Church secure. First squad in the church. Establish a field barracks. And we've got to upgrade this to a field barracks. So we do that by clicking on the church and, and selecting the button here to upgrade to the field barracks. Right, so we've taken the center and during the real battle of Carantan, this happened at half past seven in the morning, about an hour and a half after the attack started. The 506th from the south and the glider infantry from the north met in the center of the town. Apparently the glider regiment was accidentally firing a machine gun down the road at the paratroopers. And so a paratrooper from Fox Company threw some orange smoke to signal to the glider regiment that they were firing at their own side. Field barracks established. Additional infantry support available. Right, so we can uh, train more units now. Although the 101st had met in the center, the 6th Fallschirmjäger still had lots of pockets of resistance throughout Carantan. So, and so for the rest of the morning, they went about getting rid of these pockets of uh, resistance. Okay, next objective is to capture the town hall, which is right in the middle of the map. We need supplies. 
Garota, capture and secure okay, that strategic airborne. point. Eyes open. Let's move. In Company of Heroes, airborne. capturing the strategic airborne. points give you more uh, munitions, airborne. fuel, and manpower, and that's what uh, and that's what's required to train more airborne units. Ready. Airborne ready for action. Roll this show out. So I'm just going to train some new units and then take one of these strategic points. Okay, that's enough. Let's uh, let's go. Let's take that one. Oh, well, we've got a counter attack here. Wake up, people! Counter attack! The Falstrom Jäger had prepared the defences of Carantan so that when they lost a position they fell back to another position, but I, I don't know of any counter-attack or large-scale counter-attack like this that happened on the 12th of June as the 101st were taking the town. But anyway... Got to take this building out. Grenades! One of the best things about Company of Heroes is the sound design. I think very immersive. It's incredible. The sound of that machine gun ducking under my desk. We've got to take the town centre, but I want to do it from the left flank. So we're going to move those forces around. Right, let's take this. Let's take this munitions point finally. Right, we've we're taking this point. Um, I think they're under mortar fire here. And shortly after the 101st met up in the middle of Carantan at around half seven, the Germans started shelling them with mortars. They stopped small arms fire and started hitting them with mortars. Talking of mortars, we're going to take out this barbed wire fence so we can move around to the left. Let's move these men up as well. Stay low, we're pulling out. Lay down some mortar fire on that wire to clear the road. Get us Way ahead of you. Way ahead of you, mate. Needs to be clear. I know. Right, we need a, to train a sniper to counteract their snipers. Let's build an observation post to secure this point properly. And we're just building for the next attack now. Right, we've got our sniper here. We'll move him up. Uh, we've got a couple of squads of men. And this mortar has done a terrible job of getting rid of the barbed wire. So uh, we'll have to get one of these squads to chuck a satchel charge in instead. Okay. That's it, lads. Sniper up ahead. It's a sniper position, and there were several snipers positions that the uh, the Germans had taken up in the town. There's an account of a sniper in a tree that was surrounded and eventually surrendered. Anyway, I think our sniper's taken out their sniper, so let's move up. Let's move all the units up. You might be able to tell from the way I'm playing this, but the pace of real-time strategy games can barely deal with the pace of turn-based games. Move the sniper up as well. And this unit of two... Let's let's move them up and put them in this building up here. Now, they'll be safe in there, won't they? Oh, there's another unit I didn't see around the corner. Machine gun over there. So let's get our... Um, not our sniper. Where's our mortar? There it is. Let's get our mortar to take out the machine gun. I right, might have to move a few more guys up here as well to support the attack. Need another MG team. Okay, uh, this mortar is still firing on the MG. So let's, what we're going to do, move, move a squad up so they can uh, take the MG's fire. And then we'll take them out with a sniper. Hopefully this will work. There we go, and they're down. So... Let's get these guys when they're uh, stopped being suppressed to move up. Okay, let's push everything up. Uh, mortar, up you go, son. The Battle of Carantan is quite interesting in that it was paratroopers versus paratroopers. Although I think the German uniforms are incorrect. The American paratroopers called the German paratroopers Green Devils because of their green jackets. But these fellas look like they're wearing grey. Satchel charge in. Oof. That building got knackered. Okay, we've just got one guy left. I think he'll be fine. Let's put this machine gun on this one guy. Uh, I don't know why you're redeploying. You're facing that direction anyway, but okay. And uh, we've got another building. 
We've got another building up here full of enemy units, so let's get this guy again to chuck in the satchel grenade. Guys, only one of them. I think I should probably... Is it the same guy who threw it in before? We should we should retreat him. Retreat, son. He'll be back home in time for Tier Meadows, but why are you going through the, the enemy lines to retreat? What is he doing? Why didn't he go the other way? Go the way we just cleared! Oh, he's a bally hero, though. He was a bally hero. Snipers captured the second point. Carantan was home to about 3,200 civilians in 1944, and a lot of them had left the town before the battle, but there are plenty of accounts of um, the 101st Airborne kicking open doors to basements and cellars and finding civilians hiding inside. No civilians in-game, though, which is probably a good idea. So, let's move these guys up. We've got, um, I think... There's still, yes, there's still a guy in that building on the right, so hopefully our sniper can take him out. Um, let's move this machine gun up. Let's get ready to, let's get ready for the big push, boys. The big push. And that sniper's cleared the building. That's great. So we've got our left flank is kind of clear. So now we'll, um, uh, we'll move our lads up through the middle. In fact, if we put these, if we put the, all of these guys in this house, that might protect them a bit better. As we get our newly ready units up through the middle. Let's get this MG up and this squad up. We're going to research recoilless rifle for them as well. That will come in handy later, me thinks. Okay. Let's get this mortar up as well. All right, we're going to uh, let's get let's get these guys charged up first of all, so that they can move a bit faster, less likely to get suppressed. And then we're going to throw in some um, grenades. No, we're not because we don't have enough resources. Right, let's get these guys out of this house and move them up on the left. Uh, how are they doing? Almost ready. Um, and we'll keep moving these guys up through the middle. And hopefully we can take some ground. Uh, a, lot of, a lot of enemy units in the open now. I think our mortar team's going to have a field day. In this level, the final objective is the town hall. But in the real Battle of Carantan, one of the strong points for the Forsham Jäger was the train station. So... I think they should have made it the train station, really, rather than the town hall. But we're doing okay. We're slowly moving up here. Let's get these newly created men on this uh, 88 gun. That's going to come in handy, I think, later. The layout of Carantan isn't very accurate in this mission, but the fact that all the buildings are rubble and ruinous, that is because of the heavy Allied bombing on the 9th. Uh, an early morning of the 11th, 12th of June. And here's a picture of the German forces fighting in Carantan in one of these wrecked buildings. That photo taken in the, in the middle of the battle. I can't believe this game came out in 2006. I mean, it's 14 years old and, uh, well, I mean, the graphics are a bit dated, but the gameplay, um, still fantastically balanced, uh, really holds up. It's a bit of a slog getting this town hall. It's very well defended by enemy uh, units, but let's get... Oh, we've got a motorcycle and sidecar blown to pieces. We've got two machine guns, one in the town hall and one on the right. So I'm going to move these guys up. Can we get a satchel charge in? I don't think we've got enough... We haven't got enough munitions. We don't have enough resources to, to get one in. That's bad. <laughs> we, we need one. Oof, this squad's... We're going to retreat this squad. They're uh, taking casualties. Another incredible story from Karen Tan is that, and it's also depicted in Band of Brothers, is Father John Maloney, the regimental chaplain, in the middle of the battle, walked down the centre of the street, administering last rites to the wounded, just ignoring the gunfire all around him. Straight down the middle of the road. Oof. Whoops. Call the priest. He certainly has some work to do here, the way I'm playing. I didn't know this, but apparently they made a film of Company of Heroes in 2013 with Tom Sizemore. I haven't seen it. Time for the final push. Now we've got reinforcements here. Let's take this flipping down hall. Let's move uh, these guys are all out of range. Let's move them up a bit. Take the 88, move it up on the left. Here we go. Come on. As well as grenades, the 101st used bazookas to clear out uh, enemy buildings. We don't have bazookas in this, but we do have a, a recoilless rifles. That guy just fired one. They were 57mm shoulder-fired anti-tank weapons. 
they're called recoilless because they use exhaust gases to negate the recoil. If you watch a video of one firing, it's quite quite an incredible thing the way it doesn't uh, doesn't recoil at all. Anyway, we're using those instead of bazookas to to clear out the enemy. Squad coming up. I think just about closing the noose now. I think we've broken the back of the enemy. All right, let's take out this this uh, this 88. A few pineapples. Yes, get in there, lads. Get in there. Come on, let's take it. Final push. Last one in Berlin's a rotten egg. I think that's pretty much it now. The town hall is cleared. Oh, all right, we've got a we've got a, a Puma. I think this is uh, armored car. Um, Germans didn't have that in the Battle of Carantan, but there we are. And that didn't last long with all those recoilless rifles and 88s around. There we go. That's uh, objective complete. The town hall is secured, and now we see the uh, Germans falling back. And that's Carantan secured. Now on the afternoon of the 12th of June, the 506th and 501st advanced southwest out of the town, but they stopped after a mile because they came under heavy fire from German units, including some tanks. The Germans had originally planned to counterattack on the 12th, but their assault guns were held up in assembly areas by Allied air attacks, so instead they counterattacked the following day on the 13th and that became known as the Battle of Bloody Gulch. And I'll do a separate video about that, and once it's done, you can see it by clicking the link here or in the description below. You're just wasting ammo. The war's not over. The war is not over, kid. Long way to go yet. Mission complete. You are victorious. Thank you very much. So that was Company of Heroes and 101st Taking Carantan. Let me know what you thought of the history we covered and what you thought of the game. And if you like what you saw, consider subscribing for more. I'll see you in the next video.